Hello, and welcome to Old Habits and Dead Wives, a Thief 2 fan mission by 1600 Frogs. This is another mission released in 2022 by the first Thief fan mission by another uh, first time author. Uh, and it's uh, you know, rated decently, rated well. It's good. Looks like a good start by all accounts. Um, like most missions, it doesn't have a briefing, so let's a briefing video, let's read the text. Looks like I'll be paying a visit just outside the city, to the hills down the coast. I've been contacted anonymously through events to go to the estate of one Lord Beckett. I've heard of Beckett before. He's a rags to riches story that the aristocracy likes to tell in order to keep the lowly factory workers inspired. I've never really bought it, but there could always be something to it. Tonight, I suppose, I might see for myself. My employer has set my sights on two different targets. First, I'll need to break into the mechanical vault located somewhere on the second floor. It may be complex, but these lazy nobles always leave themselves an easy way to access it, and I've even been told I'd see the vault on my way up the hill. The second target is a bit weirder, as I've been asked to delve into the old Belford estate, Lady Beckett's ancestral home past the mansion, and find an old doll. I'd appreciate the ability to understand the request, but at the end of the day, I'm paid to do a job. So let's go do it. My mysterious employer wants me to bring into the mansion, locate a suspended vault inside a mechanical chamber on the second floor. I was told that the workings were complex enough that I'd be able to spot the room from the outside. They neglected to tell me what I was stealing. Clifford Estate. Oh, it was Belford Estate in the text, in the readme. Uh, Clifford Estate, the old family home of the late Lady Beckett, lies past, but lies past Beckett's mansion. My employer expects me to fetch an old doll from somewhere inside. An odd request. Rent is due. Better collect all I can while I'm there. A uh, thousand sounds good. Oh, hello. I've heard tell that the lady of the house, Catherine Beckett, recently died by illness. It's said that Lord Beckett truly loved his wife, so there's likely to be a gift or two left where she's buried. Barrett. That's, that's, that's low even for you. Uh, better collect all I can while I'm there. A thousand sounds good. This place is already in mourning. Better not kill anyone. Once I'm done, I should retreat back to the road and exit through the tunnel we're coming in from. Uh, if I go up to Expert, word is the mechanists are moving in to replace a group of hammerites somewhere on the estate and that they're keeping their moving budget in a safe in the workshop located in the mansion's basement. I could probably make better use of that money myself. You know what? Let's go Expert. I like, I'm always a sucker for extra objectives. I hope I won't die too much due to falling and low hit points, but we'll see. Right, a decent amount of cash to start off with, and a lot of options to buy. What do we have? We've got rope arrows, water arrows, decent enough stuff. No moss available to buy. We've got gas arrow if I want to spend almost half my money on it. Let's grab a healing potion. Let's grab two healing potions to begin with. Now, I don't want to buy flares. Like, if there were one, I might buy some just to make a change, but. Um, uh, gas arrow would be nice, and then I can still buy five water arrows, and you know what? I think that... Noisemaker's too expensive, right? 250, yeah. To me, that seems like a pretty good... set of stuff. Oh, do we have a map? We do, beautiful. Um, entry road is here, so are we, let's just check the compass. We are facing south, good. It's consistent. Always, always gets me turned around on the map, it's not consistent with the compass, and it's so easy to fix, because you, uh, in Dromid, you just have a, you can say, you can tell it which way is north. So you can always make your north on your map, north on the compass, match whatever you have on your map. Uh, okay, entry road, we've got the gate, the manor here. That's the suspended safe, I guess, Mark, already. Frogs. We have frogs. Ladies retreat. Mechanists, question mark. Clifford family tomb. Clifford manor is across bay. All right. And a blank page for notes. Excellent. All right. I already hear some guards over the uh, far side there. Oh, and there's somebody wandering up and down there. Well, it looks like they're not going to catch this intruder breaking in. Well, they will if they stand out of the light. All right, they walk out along the cliffside. 
what I was wondering is, can I actually see this? I mean, unless that big room is it. I can't see anything that looks mechanical, like a suspended safe, which would be kind of cool. Another guard posted there. Does this guy come in here or not? Very modernist staircase for rid of these guys. God, I'm bored. Yeah, I can imagine. Eight hours of this. I'd rather be home. Don't even have anyone break. Don't even have anyone breaking in to make it more exciting. <clears throat> Except me. Oh, wait, somebody else on the clifftop. That's unexpected. Can I frob candles in this? No, but I can frob loot, and you know what? That's about as good. Okay, so that's... I guess it's clifftop there, but it's not clifftop as far as the man is concerned. That makes sense. See something down here now I thought I had, but I guess I was wrong. Ah, this other guard is not permanently on the cliff top. Let's see if these guys are saying anything interesting. Nope. It looked like they were about to do a conversation, but apparently not. That's close. Delivery receipt. This good sir, the workshop department, bill of sale. Delivery to the basement storage room of one Lord Bry Beckett. One large crate of steel plates, one small crate of iron chassis, one small crate of acid, and one small crate of nodes. Phantom nodes, I hope. Don't think I need to keep that, but that's... Perhaps at things ahead. Ah. You don't have a key on you, do you, sir? No, you wouldn't Jordan, be... Jordan! That you? You would not be so helpful. Uh, gotta stay on my toes anyway. See, this is another way we could have got in. Nice. It's actually a way we're going to get out because I didn't realize somebody was coming up here. Going in back to stare at the window that I'm peeking in. No, okay, they're just going to stand there. So I think I might wait for them to come up again and then slip down behind them. <laughs> Note from Louis. What does Louis have to say? Cletus, I know the literacy tends to fail you, but I must inform you that Binky swallowed my key to the estate basement when I was feeding him yesterday. There is hope that it may pass through him and return to us, and in the event it does, I would like you to dig for it. Make sure to wash yourselves thoroughly afterwards, and the key as well, Louis. P.S. Keep in mind that I'll be taking the horses to escort Lord Beckett into the city tonight. Make a note, huh? Basement key in the horseship. 
he won't even notice the note is gone missing because it's back on his table. What's that? Something seems worth my attention. Oh, and this is the stables. Oh, cool. All right. Stop right there! Shit. <clears throat> is what you're falling into. I forgot there was a guy right up, right outside. Whoops. Ugh, now I'm stuck in a pile of dung. Ah, uh, look at him. Happy as a pig in mud. Basement key, okay, good. We don't need the note then. Back to the main map. Anything else in the stables of interest? Not really. So is this the basement? Oh, it is indeed, okay. Inside at last, is that also the basement key? Okay, we don't need two of them. I mean, the guy's complaining about it then. I mean, it's not the only key to the basement. Nobody in the kitchens? That seems unusual. Kitchen, that seems unusual, he says. Not a close encounter. I'm gonna need all the food I can lay my crappy little paws on. Shelves then? No. Anything in the sink? That was a very nice sink for the kitchen. That's gold. Those are valuable. I'll take all those. But everything else, I guess, can stay. Where did this go? There's a guard wandering around up here. Settings. South from the kitchen. Oh, we went in the basement there, right? So there's lots of there's lots of uh, map there. So that's the stables. So here we have the basement door. Let's, let's annotate. Kitchen. I don't know. Probably not going to be keeping that up, but. Too complicated and there's not really enough space for it. Oh, he's got some uh, money and he's got an appreciation for fine art, it seems. Does he Hello. Have... Show yourself. Does his appreciation for the fine art of pickpocketing below count? It's very well lit up here. Want to? No, I don't want to go that way yet. There's another door out of the kitchen. Where this other soldier was coming in. Go 
we didn't close the door behind us. individual cells for the guards, I guess. Well, not for the guards. Don't have anything down this side of your bed, do you? That would be sneaky. Get a machinery here. I wonder if that's got anything to do with the vault. Uh, a sewer passage running north. That's interesting. Cliffside north. Must be out here. Indeed, okay. This is cool. I love this layout. <laughs> and that's where we came in. Alright. Quiet, Garrett. So that must be the, the crypt for the old dead wife. Well, we're coming out there later and we might take this route, but even if we don't, it's good to know that we've got this as a as an access way. Where's our guard friend gone? Oh he's coming back, okay. Hope he doesn't come all this all this way through the storm. Could be in trouble if he does. <coughs> now he's going to check out the, the floor of the place, okay. Problem is, I want to get in there, there's a note I want to read. There's some mechanist uh, locks. Mechanical crafting machine instructions. Insert all ingredients into the top receptacle. Pull switch. Retrieve, retrieve product from water once full. Workshop recipes. Let's get out of here before he sees us. And see what this cookbook says. This good says mechanical recipes. Mechanical eye. A metal bar. A sphere cast. Electrical gizmo. And gouged human eye for visual reference. Ouch. Mechanical gear key, steel plate, acidic mixture, landmine, sulfur metal bar. All right, so they had a delivery of goods to the uh, basement, but they're not stored in here. Who's there? Hello. Okay, bad timing. Tell me to get past him. Thankfully, it's dark. He's not that excited about his job. And I could put that torch out. Hello. Somewhere. But it's the electric light that's more of a problem than the uh, torch. What are you doing, man? 
Guarding all the goods that have been delivered. This is where they were delivered, that's clear. Uh, really? You're just gonna chill back and forth here? Wow, okay. Hello. Anyone there? Mm, guess not. Just because I've been here only a few months, I think that I can just get away with pushing me around. I not get the other ones? Someday. Someday I'll get to where they serve. No. Thought I saw something. Jesse? Okay. Are they making noise now? When he turns around again, I'm gonna head out that left hand door. <coughs> Who's there? Oh. There's a note too that I wanna read. Let's go read the note when he turns around again. Self reminder, invoice the mechanists for the supplies from here that they've used in the workshop. The replacement order of steel plates, iron chassis, acid, and nodes have just arrived. And this is the basement entrance we came in by. Okay. Good to know. I don't know where this door goes. Ah, just the storage room in the kitchen. Okay. Well, they have some valuable spices. They've got a few crates. Look at this, I can prop the crates. Isn't that beautiful? I just, I just love it. Make a tower of crates. Well, make a very bad t tower of crates. Now, if I want to climb, I've got the tools, and that's what I appreciate. If I don't want to climb, I don't have to. Right, so that's the way upstairs. But the guards are going to come past here in a minute. So what was the workshop recipes? Steel plate, acidic mixture, sulfur, and metal bar. What do we actually have? Steel plate, iron chassis, phantom node, acidic mixture. Hmm, nothing here needs a phantom node. Or the... Uh, What is iron chassis? Apparently. Let me, let's make the things. So here with the goods, I mean, I know I went the long way around, but you know. Steel plate and acidic mixture. The instructions were just put the stuff in the top and uh, pull the lever, right? All right, I hear you. Come out in the open at once. So say, let's hope that's quiet, but apparently it's not quiet at all. I need to lean forward and do it, that's my problem. No, you're around here somewhere. I'm not worried about him catching me. I'm a little worried about him seeing me after I think he's calmed down and he hasn't fully calmed down. But uh, we'll take we'll worry about that one when it happens. Come out and fight me! No! You just heard the machinery, it's just the sweet pingings of the boiler. Still searching, or is he just standing? I can't tell. What is it we're even making? Yeah. Oh yeah, he went to search and he's given up. Mechanical gear key. Ah, oh, I see. Maybe for this. 
Would that be the mechanism to save, I suppose? Actually, get me this time. Maybe not. Do I just knock him out? Do I wait? Don't make me jump, find you. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to give him a moment to calm down. So maybe wait till he's come back down and go down those steps and then remember to lean forward and drop the thing. Lean forward. There was a bit of a flaw in the uh, the drop system in Thieves that it was never <coughs> quite adapted, even in Soulforge. Put him in the job. <coughs> One. Where's his sitting mixture? Right, he's coming now. Luckily those hoppers have nice quiet uh, slots for loading stuff in. Hmm. So you saw something? There was nothing there. Nothing at all, and you're not going to hear the machinery start doing things in a minute either. You know that would be ridiculous to imagine that you might hear the machinery start operating on its own. How would that ever happen? It's mechanists, not autonomists. Autonomists. Quietly off here. Can't reach the uh, lever from here, but when he's on his way back up the steps. Pull the switch. Oh, he did notice that, okay. Come back out here, you tapper! Free product from water once cool. How do I know when it's cooled down? Wow, that's I'll find you. Very noisy machinery. Oh, he's given up on finding me now. Good, made it back out. All right. We have stolen the money from the mechanist safe in the basement workshop. Mechanist funds. Okay, it doesn't say how much it is. Which is a shame. If I know Garrett, he would stop right here and count it all just to make sure he knew exactly how much loot he had. All right, I'm gonna go back through that door again. That's a pretty successful start. Well, ignoring all the lack of success in other in other bits, but okay, bookcases. Ah, another exterior door. Where does this loot take us? This is the eastern side. 
I guess that's here, right? D. Back door, and if we do S. Sewer pipe from basement. And we could try going for a swim, but I don't think it would be very healthy. The water just looks a bit funny. Lovely uh, geometry here, by the way. And of course it's clunky and low poly, but they love this sloped circular path up on top. Right, they've got a bridge that's across the way. We've got to search that mansion for a doll, right? open window and I don't see a way into it. Hmm. Alright, it looks like wooden beam supporting it and I can get a rope down there, but it doesn't look like it'd be high enough to be useful. Why has that got a hole in the, the trapdoor in the bottom? That tower. Oh, that jutting out a bit. Let's go at the lower part of the bridge, shall we? Kind of funny that they built the entire footway down here. Less surprising that the guards use it for uh, a quiet escape from their duties. key. That might be the case for the entirety of this manor, I don't know, we'll find out. Seems pretty quiet up here, honestly. Does that guard have a key, perhaps? Can't quite see. Might be worse at sneaking out just to find out. But the other guard is facing this way, he might see me at this distance. No keys? Okay. Dun, da, dun, ba, dun. Dun, dun, da, dun, ba, dun. Noisy gravel. Yeah, don't go down that way. So there's an entrance. We will noisily jump over while attempting to silently jump over it. Yeah, typical skillful garret manner. Hello. There's a path past the waterfall that we could have taken. Ah, that's interesting. We'll try coming back that way. I guess there's someone near. Is this place guarded? Or is it haunted? Which would be worse? Seems quiet. Which is not suggestive of guards. There were guards here at one point, but looks like they moved out and left everything empty. Yeah, look, all the windows are boarded up. Imagine being so rich you could have a beautiful big house like this and just leave it to rot. Alright, there's a 
stairway down to the lower floor, right? Bedroom. July 6, 801. Today I met the most wonderful man under the most extraordinary of circumstances. I was shopping in South Court and when a small child clad in black grabbed my purse and ran. I chased him into an alley to find him handing it over to a dashing gentleman. Our eyes met for but a moment before he was handing it back to me and apologising. We spoke for only a moment, but he promised to visit me soon. July 12th, 801. Love is pain. Tonight my mysterious admirer had arrived and caught my attention through the window, leading me to the side of the manor where he gifted me the most adorable of dolls. But father's guards caught him as he attempted to slip away, and he's been thrown in the dungeon. Father has taken my keys to the basement and has likely hidden it among the books of his study down the hall. But the guards are too vigilant for me to go searching there. Basement key hidden among books. Hmm. Hello? There's a gift I appreciate. It's not a doll, but it's, uh, certainly, uh, beautiful in its own way. Our woodsy lord punished our family on the 27th of that autumn month, the day my daughter Catherine was born, and the day my beloved Amelia was taken from me. We have turned from his way of life in a number of ways, but our most recent sin is certainly what has provoked him. We dug up our family's dead from the basin and buried them in a catacomb of stone. My only solace is that their souls remain in the glow of the water, but I fear my own will not be so lucky. I have fallen terribly sick to illness, and with me will go the ways of our family that have been followed for generations. When I die, my daughter will be the last of the family, and she will no doubt run it into the ground by trusting her life to that urban rat, that thief from the city that rots in my dungeon. Yes, I have a whole city rotting in my dungeon, not just a thief. Uh, no, the thief. The thief. The thief from the city that rots in my dungeon. I don't know if I have the will to take his pitiful life and risk losing what little I have left as my only child. Well, I'm quite dead, huh? You haven't left a purse down by your bed? Alright, that's fine. You're forgiven this time. Ah. The library in a very precariously placed book that's quite obvious and yet not probable. That's weird. So I'm wondering if there's a key hidden among these books somewhere, right? Maybe on top. No. Check down there in a minute. Do have another rope. I'll just use it here. I couldn't quite see very well at this side. Whoops. Nothing up there, okay, and anything up here? No. No, 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 no. Is the candle still burning? Someone's been here. Just like, oh, hello, there's a key there. Old house basement key, all right. Uh, was this, wasn't this the last room? No, there's a room there. You know what? I'm gonna leave that rope there for a minute. It might come in handy. You never know. And what's down in this room? Anything? Stairs. Oh. Pretty human sounding footsteps. Is somebody still around? Can leave that door open. Now you know what? I'm gonna say let's sleep my rope here.
Thomas. Piers wants you to try and find the second key to the basement. It belonged to the late Lady Beckett when she lived here, so I'd start by searching her bedroom upstairs. That's why someone is here. Is that, is that the basement doors? Right, so someone's trying to find this the key that I just found it was under the books. Second key to the basement, so there must be another one. Right, that's the stairway, right? Anything under the stairs? Always worth a look. Wait a minute. Ah, right, that's not the basement. We've been in here and there wasn't anything else except the key, right? Hello? Old house key, okay, that's, that's useful. So the only other door then, that's just the same room, the only other doors is the basement key here. Ah, so I guess he, Thomas had one of the keys to the basement already. Oh. There's a couple of people here with swords, that seems surprising to me. They don't look like they're uh, servants searching for the basement key. So what is going on? Or is he just going in a circle? I guess he might be. I'll read that. Lucas, I did drop to the chef's payment at the usual place. Could be worth moving spots closer to us. I'm not a fan of sneaking through that basement just to trudge through a bit of sewage. Chef's payment? Nice stack of barrels you got there. and brain together you might realize something is up. There's a whole gang living down here, but mm. question is does anybody patrol in here? Let me just take a moment before venturing into the light. What did you call me? Lucas and I were having a few in the wine room when he left us a joke about Piers' height. Problem is, Piers was also in the room having a few and responded by cutting off Lucas' big toe. Did it with precision, too. Just a warning to watch your tongue around him. He's been on edge since we moved in here. All business now. God, sorry, I'd fucked up the jump there. So who are these people? Yes, yes, obviously you're Taffers, but uh, you're not my group of Taffers. It's 
Nothing. You saw nothing. You don't have a key on you. Oh shit, someone's there. But with the doll. You know what, I'm gonna spend a water arrow here. Make this a slightly safer place to sit and observe. Looks like he's got a key on his belt. Indeed. Ah, oh, that's Piers. And the warning was four. So where is this? Oh, this is the bridge. Right. So nobody better be tapping around down here. These guys are tapping around down here. Is there something on top of the crate there? No. Wonder if there's enough darkness by that uh, cupboard there in the corner. All that really matters, I can run out of the room and back in again. Healing potion is good. You know, we'll come back for the doll in a minute. Let's see what's up with this. Dungeon cell. Hmm, Piers' key. Does Piers' key work here? It does. Ah. This is their stash. Very nice. Key, key, come on quickly. No, nothing in here. Because what I'll do is I'll go out of this way past the bridge. Uh, yeah. Uh, via, via the doll and by piers. Stand there, man. Could you possibly be any more inconvenient? Well, he should miss me here, right? Yes. All right, don't have much time. Quick. <gasps> Could have gone prancing all over the beds again, but I didn't feel like repeating that performance. It almost went badly last time. Shit, I thought you were just to the right. The sleeping quarters. Right, okay, so back here with 
what's his name is all business in that room. We need to we need to get in there. Check this room, right? Yeah. Hmm. Did I see something? Oof. Hmm. My timing was very bad. Now. He's faster than I thought he was. Well, there's only a bottle on the table, it looks like, but I need, need to see if something else. Hmm. It's a short window. Get more of one if I put this torch out. I do seem to have plenty of water arrows, but huh? what was that? I saw something. Anything in this room? I'm getting too jumpy. Well, he's guarding something. He's guarding something. There's a there's a doorway behind him. I want him on that doorway. <sighs> what? <laughs> I'm getting too jumpy. <laughs> Thought I saw something. On that doorway. It's just a, a rack of, like a, a old uh, fireplace with a grill. Alright, I think we're done in here then. Follow this fine fellow once more. Fine fellow. Then we can grab the doll and get out. Most recent entry in journal. Briar's fall from grace is pathetic. Thirty years ago he was one of the best thieves in town. He even taught me how to scale a building. But he married rich and now he's just another fat noble to empty the pockets of. He abandoned me when I was just a kid and I'm gonna get what's owed for it. He even took my share of a job to buy this damn doll. That wife of his made him soft. Convincing him to get back into the game was so easy. I just had to present it to him as a reason to keep living. Now his money funds my own ventures and I'm close enough to him to get payback. I've been slowly poisoning the old fool's drinks via his trusted cook for weeks now. Every time I see him, he's a little weaker than before. Pretty soon he'll be in the ground with that pretty twitty wench of his. Someone's doll. Unnamed. Alright, time to... Uh... Leave you fine fellas alone. Where's, where's that key? Let's just lock up behind me, shall we? And I wanted to go back this way. By the waterfall. So let's do that. You look at that. Two mansion heists for the price of one. What a bargain. All right. Well, time to end the episode. And when we come back, we'll go uh, back to the main mansion and see what we can find out there. I just thought it'd be nice to sit and listen to the music of the water. Admire the bridge. You know, take a look at the view. And uh, see you next episode.